This video is going to be about <clears throat> training your telescope drives on an equatorial wedge and polar setup. This is my telescope. I turned it on to get GPS. It took quite a while to get GPS. Here is a matrix of your AutoStar and your manual. Here I'm going to be selecting my targets. <clears throat> now to train the drives you've got to pick terrestrial objects and that is one thing you got to make sure you got as you set it for terrestrial. Then you scroll through your menu and you go to telescope or setup then <clears throat> scroll to uh, telescope hit enter Make sure your mount's on polar, hit enter, hit enter. Scroll down until you get train drives. Hit enter. Now here you get your first one that comes up is your RA. <coughs> and what you're doing is you're looking for some object far away that you can set the crosshairs up in either the eyepiece of your telescope or your finder scope. I use my finder scope. And then when you get it centered, you press enter and it uh, comes up and it'll ask you to use one of the slew buttons. This would be the, the, uh, the horizontal buttons. So, because you're doing RA. <coughs> and when you get it centered in one direction, it'll slew another direction and you'll get the other arrow to center it up. And you get through with that, and you press enter, and then you go to the next, and you scroll down to the next one, which is your deck. You hit enter, and then you want to make sure that your object is centered. It should be, since you just completed one drive, and you hit enter, and uh, after you set everything up, and it'll come up and uh, give you another arrow, the up and down arrows to use. You look through your eyepiece until it's centered up on your crosshairs, whatever your object is, and hit enter, and then you center it up again, and, and, it, and, it would, and you use a down arrow, and it, it goes to that. You do not want to overshoot your centering. You get through with that. You, you get out of the menu by hitting mode until you go back. And you want to put it back on uh, the astronomical setting, which uh, took me a little bit to get back, but I, I get to it. You want to go to, I think it's set up, yeah, and then go to targets change that to from terrestrial to astronomical. Get mode out of it and then you're ready to continue on and do your polar alignment. I have gone to a vertical imaging train, trying that out, and I have balanced my telescope so that it's uh, balanced in all the positions. I pushed it too hard right here, but it's balanced. Pushing down on it as it goes up just to illustrate that it is balanced in all those positions. You want to be fully loaded with all your equipment that you're going to be using for the night to image with uh, to balance your telescope. 
once you've got it uh, all set up, you can just rotate it where it's perpendicular to your base and parallel with your fork arms. And uh, you lock it and you fine tune the dial where you're at 90 degrees on the dial. And you uh, are ready. Now, here's some close up pictures of the telescope. I've shown this before. Uh, that's my little level. I don't have it level right now. I will level it before the night starts. And this is the bottom side of the telescope. I do have a red dot on it, and there's my weight, my balance weights, counterweights. I do have dew straps, dew heater around my red dot. These are my dew buster controller for all my dew straps. Finder scope as it's illuminated. I have a red dot on the top of the scope as well, and my guide scope. Now the wires, the new wires, uh, new heater wires get out of the way when I uh, start it. That's my USB hub. I'm going to come over here to the uh, bullseye level on the tripod and uh, right now I have my protective cover off of my hand controller because it wouldn't show up in the camera very well on the display but you can see the bullseye is level. I hope this uh, helps people out. Uh, I really like that vertical imaging because it surely misses the uh, base of the telescope. Clear skies.